In the tapestry of life and legacy, some stars shine so brightly, they leave an everlasting glow. Welcome to Legendary Loss, where we pay tribute to these remarkable souls, delving deep into their stories, their achievements, and the memories they've imparted upon us. As we journey through these tales of inspiration and impact, we kindly invite you to subscribe and join our community. Please share your thoughts, reflections, and respectful memories in the comments, creating a space of collective remembrance and appreciation. Together, let's celebrate the stars who forever touched our hearts. Andre Brower Highly respected actor Andre Brower passed away on Monday, December 11th, following a short illness, as confirmed by his representative. Andre will be remembered for several key contributions to film and television, notably the American drama series Homicide, Life on the Street, from 1993 to 1998. Brower's portrayal of Detective Frank Pembleton in this critically acclaimed series is often considered his breakout role. His performance was notable for its depth and complexity, earning him widespread acclaim and an Emmy Award. Also, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, from 2013 to 2021. As Captain Raymond Holt, Brower became a fan favorite on this popular comedy series. His deadpan delivery and the character's unique personality traits brought a distinctive humor to the show, earning him multiple Emmy nominations. Brower is also known for his ability to handle a variety of roles across different genres. From serious drama to comedy, he has demonstrated a wide range in his acting abilities. Aside from his television success, Brower has also been recognized for his stage work. He has performed in various Shakespeare plays and other theatrical productions, showcasing his classical training and versatility as an actor. With his distinctive deep voice, Brower has also done notable voice work in various animated series and documentaries. As an African-American actor, Brower has been an advocate for diversity and representation in the entertainment industry. His success has paved the way for more diverse casting in television and film. Brower's legendary legacy in the entertainment industry is marked by his ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters, making him a respected and memorable figure in acting. Sandra Day O'Connor Sandra Day O'Connor the first woman to serve as a U.S. Supreme Court justice, passed away on Friday, December 1st, at the age of 93. Her death occurred in Phoenix, Arizona, and was attributed to complications related to advanced dementia, probably Alzheimer's disease. Sandra was a trailblazer for women in law and politics. Her appointment to the Supreme Court in 1981 was a historic moment breaking a long-standing gender barrier in the highest court of the United States. O'Connor was known for her moderate conservative approach to law. She often played a pivotal role as a swing vote in many closely divided decisions. She was instrumental in various landmark cases, especially in the areas of abortion rights, affirmative action, and the separation of church and state. Her opinions often reflected a pragmatic approach to law, balancing conservative principles with a recognition of evolving societal norms. After retiring from the Supreme Court, O'Connor was an active advocate for civics education. She founded iCivics in 2009, a nonprofit organization focused on educating students about civics and inspiring them to be active participants in democracy. Her journey to the Supreme Court was marked by overcoming gender barriers in her early legal career. Her resilience in the face of these challenges has been an inspiration to many. O'Connor's tenure on the Supreme Court is often cited as an example of moderation and the importance of compromise in judicial decision-making. Her career serves as an inspiration to women in the legal profession and beyond showing that it is possible to reach the highest echelons of the judiciary. Sandra Day O'Connor's impact on the American legal landscape and her role as a pioneer for women in the judiciary will continue to be remembered and celebrated for generations to come. 
Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill, a renowned Hollywood actor, passed away on December 8, 2023, at the age of 82. O'Neill was known for his iconic roles in films such as Love Story and Paper Moon, and for his appearances in TV series like Peyton Place. His career spanned several decades, making significant contributions to both television and cinema. O'Neill's most iconic role was in the film Love Story, where he played Oliver Barrett IV opposite Ally McGraw. This film, known for its famous line, Love means never having to say you're sorry, became a huge box office success and solidified O'Neill's status as a leading man in Hollywood. His performance earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Paper Moon in 1973 O'Neill starred in this comedy-drama film alongside his daughter, Tatum O'Neill. The film was well-received, and Tatum won an Academy Award for her performance, making her the youngest competitive winner in the history of the Oscars. Peyton Place, a TV series from 1964 to 1969. Before his film career took off, O'Neill was a regular on the television series Peyton Place, which was one of the earliest primetime soap operas on American television. O'Neill's versatility as an actor was evident in his varied film roles, including in Barry Lyndon, directed by Stanley Kubrick, What's Up Doc, alongside Barbara Streisand, and the main event, also with Streisand. Beyond Peyton Place, O'Neill appeared in various TV shows, including a recurring role on Bones from 2005 to 2017. O'Neill's personal life, including his relationships and family dynamics, often garnered public attention. His relationship with actress Farrah Fawcett was particularly notable, lasting many years and attracting significant media interest. His influence on popular culture, particularly through Love Story, continues to be recognized, with the film often cited in discussions of romantic cinema. Love and light to these beautiful souls. As we conclude this tribute, we are reminded of the profound impact one life can have on countless others. If this story resonated with you, please give it a like and share it as well, allowing others to join in our collective remembrance. And if you have a personal tribute, memory, or kind thought about the legends we've honored today, we'd truly appreciate you sharing it in the comments below. Together, let's keep their legacy alive one memory at a time. Thank you for being a cherished part of the Legendary Loss community.